last few minutes, it looks like Greek politicians have passed that crucial austerity vote as protesters are venting still their frustrations on the streets of Athens. Take a look at these live pictures that we're showing you on the streets of the uh, Greek capital. It's just gone 1.30 a.m. in Greece, and we still have uh, fire teams trying to put out fires, of course, with lots of riots that are taking place. Let's bring in John Dawson's got more details on what's unfolding in Greece itself. But to first, let's take a look at that parliamentary vote. That's right. In fact, uh, so far, clearly, 151 votes again were needed. They got them, in fact, uh, Pepin, Pepin rather again, getting that through again. However, with that, a bit of uh, in-house, if you like, uh, fighting. We've had, in fact, about 45 in total deputies uh, expelled from Parliament again for not towing the party line in different parties. That's happened, the headlines working of that in the last few seconds. Uh, but clearly the, uh, the bailout is 130 billion euros, absolutely vital uh, to get the second bailout again. They've been surviving on uh, the first bailout back in May of 2010. Again, that's been the key one. This one will take them forward, of course, and they really will pay that very crucial March 20th bond payment of 14.5 billion euros. Plus also they get the private bond holders, that debt swap again, that was a sticking point for a couple of weeks. That will reduce the uh, national debt by 100 billion euros. And what are the austerity cuts? They're going to cut the minimum wage by one-fifth, Susan, 20%. Mm -hmm. Smaller pensions, that was a big sticking point last weekend. And 15,000 government workers will be cut in the next three years. That is one-fifth of civil jobs. And that's the austerity measures again, clearly very brutal, hence mm -hmm. the streets. You can see uh, 15,000 uh, crowd, uh, very angry indeed, 100 more than that, in fact, uh, protesters, uh, 10 buildings on fire in central Athens again. And that's been the concern so far. But really, Greece surviving on that 145 billion euro uh, package since May 10th. Now they have hopefully won on Wednesday. The EU, particularly the Germans, will see, okay, is that enough? Vote, vote that it would seem, and then thereafter, March 20th, the bond payment is cleared. And then the radar shifts to Portugal, Spain, Italy. All right, and so we have 199 votes for Papademos, uh, four and uh, 74 against. And we have uh, right now MPs being uh, basically expelled. For instance, uh, Grisus Ameris, the opposition, expelling 21 That's MPs right. from his uh, party for defying the party line in this right. vote. So this 45 is 45 in total. Yeah, this yeah. is quite interesting. Just the uh, politics unfolding in this uh, in the parliamentary vote Social as well. Social unrest and also parliament unrest. But the key one is again to get the vote through. But Will it be enough to satisfy the EU? It shows you how intense it's been mm -hmm. and how socially unrest the whole of Athens will be. So this is today, but again, for the next week, weeks, months, again, it's going to be a very painful process. Okay. Very painful. John, thank you so much for that. John Dawson, the latest on Europe. And we can